friends of mine, and I think it's about time I get to roast this guy. I waited 49 years to do this. Yeah, you got it. Well, let's go up for instance. The Polish American Club, we were getting ready for Booyah one night. And a guy walks in with his wife and another fella. He comes in and he says, I hear you have pretty good booyah here. And I said, but we're not open tonight. Can't do anything about that, you know? Well, he says, uh, you know, I'm a, I, I like booyah. I've been around. And he says, I just want to sample your booyah and see if it's the best. I said, he says, I've been at the West St. Paul booyah and I know what good booyah is. I said, well, honey, we were in that competition, and we won both times. We did not have to go back with our booyah. We won. So he said, all right, you know, so we're talking, and his wife says, well, I'm Polish. And I said, gee, now nobody's in the bar because we're not really open. They just happen to find the door open. So I said, Gene, would you please set up a couple of Polish beers for these people? He goes, well, that'll be three fifty a piece. I'm like, no, give, give them a beer. He goes, but that'll be free. I said, no. So I separated the man and the wife, and she says, well, the man says, well, I'd be more than happy to pay for my beer. I said, you are not paying for your beer. So we go into the kitchen, and I'm showing him the vat and how the things work. We had a talk. And I gave him a quart of booyah. I said, now you tell me if this is the best booyah you've ever had. He said, Friday morning, 9 o'clock, you turn on your radio and you will hear what I think of your booyah. I said, done. So he's getting ready to walk out the door. And I said, thank you. And we were real happy to see him there. Chris was there. He walks out the door. The guy was Governor Tim Pawlenty, his wife and bodyguard, and this one says, who the hell was that? <laughs> he looked familiar, you wanted to give him free beer? I went, really? Really, Gene? <laughs> this is the genism. We go through this every day. Every day. We're gonna be married 49 years at the end of this month. This man, yeah, little baby, you know, another thing. I don't know from hot wax. Hot wax. Okay, he gets me a hot wax thing from, I have arthritis in my hands. I'm gonna put my hand in that arthritis thing and I'm gonna have a good time because Jean's gonna be living for the weekend. My hands are gonna be flexible. So I get the hot wax machine out and I get my hot hands in there and I'm thinking, what do you do with this leftover wax? I mean, it's still hot. Where do I wanna put it? Now he's getting ready for the fishing trip, and I'm looking around and I'm thinking, well, I don't have a can to put it in. I'll put it in a plastic bag on the sink. I did. It went right down the drain, plugged up the sink. I had to call a plumber. So the plumber comes out, and he's laying on the floor under the sink. G comes in the back door, steps over the plumber, runs and gets his fishing equipment, hightails it out the door, and I'm yelling, it's the plumber! Didn't even ask. I could have had anybody under that sink. <laughs> now I know. Was this true or not? All right, I wouldn't lie. I mean, I gotta say, he's a tough cookie. He, he, he believes in honesty, integrity, and he wants it to give people a beer. I mean, he doesn't care who it is. So, he's a, tough, he's a tough nut to crack, but he's been fighting a heck of a battle, and we're doing great, we're hanging in there, and he's gonna be here next year. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for my mom.